We're going to continue with 8.1 review by doing number 16. We're still using substitution. Here, u is going to be 1 over x, the exponent of the e. The reason for that is when you rewrite this as x to the negative 1, the derivative of this u is negative x to the negative 2 dx, which is negative 1 over x squared dx. Notice that's very similar to what we have here. We have 1 over x squared dx right here. So if we multiply this by negative 1 and multiply the outside by negative 1, we can rewrite this as negative the antiderivative of e to the u because u is 1 over x and this negative 1 over x squared dx that's right here that's du and the antiderivative of e to the u du is e to the u plus c and we have this negative 1, we just multiply it by negative 1. So it's really negative e to the u is 1 over x plus c. We're going to double check, but this is our answer. By taking the derivative of our answer, derivative of negative e to the 1 over x is negative e to the 1 over x times the derivative of 1 over x and derivative of 1 over x is negative x to the negative 2. So negative times negative is positive. So this is e to the 1 over x over x squared. And derivative of c is 0, so we don't have to worry about that. And that is, in fact, what we started out with. So the answer here is correct. Now, this is not an exponential um, function, but this is a good question that's similar to number 16 and our previous questions where we have to use substitution. That's why I put this question in here so that you could see it's a very similar problem to, for example, number 15 or number 16. And we have done examples like this in the past. I was just reminding us of these kinds of problems that this substitution is not just used for whenever we have exponential functions. So here, our u is going to be x squared plus 2x because the derivative of it is a factor of x plus 1. Let's see. But you need to do this in your head before you decide what u should be. See, the derivative of u is 2x plus 2 dx. Okay, well, that is 2 times x plus 1 dx. So when I made up this question, I made it up having in mind that I wanted this to be a factor of the derivative of this. So we can't just, if this was, for example, x plus 3, we would not have been able to do this problem using substitution. Okay, so we need to multiply this by 2 and divide the outside by 1 half. So we can rewrite the original question now in terms of u. This is 1 half, the integral of, in replace of 2 times x plus 1 dx, which is this whole thing, which is this whole thing, we're going to write du. And then over x squared plus 2x, that's u, to the third power. Let's rewrite it as the power, so that's a negative 3 du. And now we use the power rule, the antiderivative. Let's get the new exponent, add 1 to this, we get negative 2, and then divide by that new exponent. So that's negative 1 half, multiplied by negative 1 half. 
Okay, plus C. So this is negative one fourth u, which is x squared plus two x. to the negative 2 plus c. Or if we want to write it a little bit prettier, that's negative 1 over 4 times x squared plus 2x squared plus c. That's our answer. Let's double check quickly by taking the derivative. Let's take the derivative when it's in this form. Negative times negative is positive. 2 times 1 fourth is 1 half x squared plus 2x. Let's write it here. This is our double check. It's getting a little bit complicated to follow. So 2 over 4 x squared plus 2x to the negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 3, times the derivative of the inside, because we've got to use chain rule. So that's 2x plus 2. The derivative of a constant is 0. So this 4 cancels out with the 2 that we're going to factor out of this and multiply it by that 2. See, this is really 2 times, factor out another 2 out of these two guys, so that this becomes x plus 1. And then over 4, put this in the denominator, x squared plus 2x to the third power. So these cancel. We end up with x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x cubed, which is our original. So it does check.